what's happening guys? I'm out in Marysville, California for their first ever Population Anime Con. I brought some cards with me that I want to trade and I want to try to find some older packs too. So let's go inside and check it out. This looks pretty cool. Let's look around. Okay, I see some binders. Let's check out this binder. Maybe there's some trainer galleries in here. And there we go. Oh, I think I also need this Mimikyu V Max right here, too. Oh, look at that leafy on. I think I'm just going to grab these two the Mimikyu and the Obstagoon. Two cards down off the list for the trainer galleries. Let's keep looking for the rest of them. This booth has some stuff. Let's check this out. I think I'm just gonna go with a couple packs of Evolving Skies. Yeah, these three. This is actually pretty awesome, guys. Marysville is a small town, and for the first time of this con going on, there's actually a good amount of people here and some pretty cool vendors. Let's keep looking around. I wanna try to trade some stuff today, maybe find something cool to open, Let's see what I can find. Oh, check out this Scyther right here. $30. Let's see, I'm gonna offer them 25. And they'll take it. All the way out in Marysville, and look who I find, the Ultimate Spice Gaming Booth. It looks like they've got some of the singles that I'm missing. Let's check it out. Seeing the Orbital V Max right there. Need that one. The Mimic UV. Two of them here. I'll take the one that's a little off center because it's just going in the binder. And what else is in here? Uh, oh, the Single Strike Urshifu V Max. All right, guys, I brought one of the Giratinas that I pulled, one of the duplicates, and I'm thinking about doing something crazy, thinking about trading this for the Charizard that I've been missing from Champion's Pack. There's a few of them in the case right here. The shop's willing to make me a deal on it. I'm really not sure. What do you guys think? Should I do it? All right, I did it. I wasn't expecting this to happen today, but Giratina Gold traded for the Rainbow Charizard VMAX. Let's keep looking around the show. Whenever I see a dice game, you know I gotta play it. I love a good mystery, I love a good game. What do we got here? What's going on with this dice game? So, this is, um, we just call it Gengar's dice game, pretty much. You're gonna roll five dice. Whatever number you get will be the pack that, the reward that you get on here. If you get, um, if you win on Gengar, you'll get a pack of Astral Radiance. Uh, if you get all one, you're gonna get a pack of, um, sorry, you're gonna get a Charger Hollow. If you get all six and thirty, you're gonna get an Astral Radiance booster. Okay, so we're going for all sixes or all ones. I want to win this box or I want to win this Zard. We got two rolls here. I'm going to do the first roll and my brother will do the next one. Let's see what we do. Three, six, 12, 17, and 19. So we got the Arceus for the 18, right? All right, dice roll number two. Pokey Bro here. Watch him win the booster box. Those sixes. Five, 10, 16, oh. 22. 22, we got the Orbital V Max, okay. Do we need to roll again? All right, ready, third roll here. Let's go for all sixes. Oh no! Oh, that was a five. Oh, out of six. <laughs> got 10, 12, 
12, 13, 18. So it is the Gengar. It's the Gengar. We wanted that one. Got a pack of Astral Radiance. Do I need to open it right here? I think you do. I think I do. Okay, let's open this up. Open this Astral up. Just want to hide the code card from you guys. Let's get four to the front. Okay, is the lighting good? Oh, we got Lucky Leaf Energy too on top of that. Dark Tricks. Trekking Shoes, Earth's Ring, we got the Fonard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Rufflet, Ponyta, Dark Patch for the Reverse, Hiding, oh, Starmie V, all right, I'll I take it. I actually really like Starmie, so Let's cool. go. This con was awesome. Checking out some other booths right here. There's some figures and stuff like that. I probably could look through these all day too. I also saw some cool Pokemon t-shirts. Almost got this Ivysaur, but I think I saw everything and got everything that I wanted. All right, I'm willing to say that Population Anime Con was a success. Definitely a little smaller than I thought it would be, but there's a lot of potential there. I'm really excited to see where this goes in the future for the city of Marysville. Found some packs to open up, not as many as I wanted to. Let's go back to the studio and rip them all open. Okay, actually, before we go home, I realized there's a Target in this town that I've never been to. So let's go inside and see what they have. Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but this target is actually loaded up on cards. Crown Zenith, ton of single blister packs, tins, collection boxes. Let's go with this Reggie Eloki box right here. And let's grab some Lost Origin packs. How about three of these here? And one of these Pikachu boxes. Let's go home and open all this up. Back in the studio, guys, drop a like on this video if you can, and if you haven't already, follow the channel by hitting that totally free subscribe button. Huge shout out and thank you to everybody that's been hitting that sub button lately. The channel is growing and growing. Let's check out everything that I grabbed from the con here. Now, one of the goals I had was I wanted to try to get as close to complete on all of the trainer galleries as possible. I think I'm like five to, to nine for each set away from uh, completing them. So looked around and was able to find all of these that I needed. The Orbeetle VMAX, the Cleaver, the Galarian Obstagoon, all these going in the binder. The Gallade V. Now, if you saw the package that I opened last week from Steven, I actually picked this up and had no idea that I was about to get it in the mail. So Gallade V is probably going back into the trade list and we've got the Mimic UV going into the binder, the Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max going into the binder, the Mimic UV Max going into the binder, and the Charizard V Max. I had to trade one of the Giratinas. I've been after this for a while since Champion's Path came out. It's the last card that I need to complete the set. Now I just need a few more reverse hollows for a 100% master set of Champion's Path. Bam! I know some people out there might think it was, tr it was crazy maybe to trade the Giratina, but Crown Zenith is going to be dropping for a while. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to hold that same price that it's at right now. Not That's... sure when, if ever, Champion's Path is coming back. So for me, I'm really, really happy with this trade. Let's set all these aside here. Now I got to drop them all in the binder. Can't believe I finally have the Rainbow Charizard V Max. Other thing I picked up was this Scyther. PSA 7 right here. Now it's just a 7, but Scyther was one of my other favorite ones as a kid besides Haunter, so when I saw it, I had to grab it. They were asking 30 for it. I offered them 25, and they said, sure, looking on eBay and sold listings and stuff like that. It looks like 25 is about a pretty fair price for it. So Hollow Scyther PSA 7 going into the collection. And the only other thing that I grabbed from the show was these three Evolving Skies packs. Now you saw some of the prices were a little more than they should have been. Some of them way more than they should have been for some things. So grabbed these three and then wouldn't you know it, the target in the town kind of saves the day by having a ton of stuff. So I'm gonna open all the stuff that, are, that I got from Target too, but let's start off with these Evolving Skies packs from the convention. Definitely a smaller show than I thought it would be, but like I said, I see a lot of potential there and I'm really excited to see where they go with this in the future. That was an old code card 
for Evolving Skies. Could this be a good sign? Old Code Card. We've got Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains, Shell Gone, Fee Bass, Hitmonchan, Neo, Punching Through the Rain. We've got the Petal, Pikachu, Lil Up for the Reverse, and a Leafy on V for the Rare. All right, just a Leafy on V, but I'll take it. Because I feel like lately, especially with the new reprint of Evolving Skies, I have not had as good of pull rates as these older ones. Hopefully, this is also an older code too, because you guys know how superstitious I am. There's absolutely nothing to it, but I always feel like, oh, this is a newer code. I always feel like the Darulodon pack arts just have something inside for me. But you guys know it's all totally random. We've got the Hippodon, Tentacruel, Scraggy, Hippopotas, Time Pole, Lit Leo, Eevee, Rescue Carrier, and the Hollow Zarark. All right, definitely have that one in the binder. Last pack of Evolving Skies from the convention today, but I was able to find that Pikachu V-Box that also has two Evolving Skies in it. So bam, let's grab this code out of here. And look at that, that was an old code again. So looks like that shop had a nice little mix of newer and older Evolving Skies prints. We got Copycat, Zoelius, Sableye. And if you've noticed, that's been two good codes so far. Can we go three for three on the good codes crystal cave for the reverse and hollow marsh shadow so technically that was three good codes just two hollows and a v though let's set these aside here and let's look at what i grabbed from the target grab some lost origin blisters here let's just rip right into these lost origin i'm gonna say it out loud <clears throat> i'm looking for that giratina v alternate art if i could pull it from Target, from a random blister, I would absolutely lose my mind. There's the code for you. Let's get four up here and we've got, oh, I think I see something. I think I see something at the back of this. I don't know. We've got Ducklet, Blitbug, Finneon, Z Zora, Paris, Parasect for the reverse, and the Drapion V-Star, super off-centered for the rare. One that I've gotten in the binder already. I saw that border and thought, no way is this about to be the Giratina. Let's set you aside. Two more packs here. I feel like it's been a minute since I've pulled something crazy from just a blister pack. I know whenever a set comes out, I like to open you know, like a booster box equivalent, like 36 of them, test out my pull rates on that versus a booster box and stuff like that. I'm definitely gonna do that when Scarlet and Violet comes out. Lucky Leaf Energy, we've got Rose Raid, Rhydon, Oddish, Love Disc, Foulinx, Poliwag, Gliger, Radiant Gardevoir in our trainer gallery spot, hiding a Stone Journer. oops, for the rare. All right, we'll drop the Radiant Gardevoir in a sleeve. Bam. I always think it's crazy how like dark this card looks when it's not in the light. It's like you can barely read the text on it almost too. Last of the Silver Tempest single packs and then I've got some Crown Zenith and that Pikachu box. Let's rip right into these. We gotta see something. At least at least one good pull from the single packs. Get three to the front here. At least a trainer gallery or something that I'm missing. We got Mirage Gate, Laminion, Gloom, Murkrow, Wormpole, Clefairy, Lickitung, Horsey, Rhyhorn for the reverse, and it's just a hollow chandelure. So we had a good code, but just a hollow. Let's get these cards to the side. Let's do Crown Zenith last. Let's open up this Pikachu V box. All right, inside the Pikachu V box, you get the Mimic U Hollow, you get the Pikachu V Surprise, and here's the code for you, bam, and four packs, one Brilliant Stars, two Evolving Skies, and one Fusion Strike. Let's open the Fusion Strike pack first. I feel like Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike is the set that everybody just loves, 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 loves to hate on. Bam, I don't mind it. There's still some pulls that I need from Fusion Strike. I still really want that Espeon alternate art. We've got Diggers B, Sydney, Cross Switch, Clobopus, Tynamo, Zora, Shelder, Caterpie, Drakelok, and Maractus for the rare. And that's usually how it goes for Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike for me. Brilliant stars. I'm looking for that alternate art, Charizard V. Let's pull this out of here. Bam. I feel like it's also been a minute, minute since I've gotten anything crazy from one of these collection boxes. So nothing in the first pack. We've got Fire Energy here, Dusclops, Magma Basin, Marnie's Pride, Corpish, Golette, Chimico, Chimchar, Mincino, Farfetch'd, and the Grim Snarl for the rare. Okay, so far empty box. Is Evolving Skies gonna save the day here? 
or is this gonna be a totally empty box? Hopefully it's not just like a hollow or something for Evolving Skies. Bam, there we go, code for you, and let's get four to the front. You know what I'm looking for. We've got the Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains, Shelgon, Woobat, Seadot, Swablu, Psyduck, Rog and Rolla, Zania's Resolve, and the Garbodor V Max, one that I've already got in the Evolving Skies binder, but at least this box wasn't totally empty. Garbodor V Max in the sleeve. It's weird to see a V Max nowadays. You know, it feels like. I know they were around for a little bit, but at the same time, it feels like they really kind of came and went pretty quickly. Bam, code for you. And let's get forward to the front. These were both newer codes for Evolving Skies as well. We've got Lucky Ice Pop, Crystal Cave, Palpitoad, Wobbuffet, Mareep, Dino, Hoppip, Tentacool, Woobat for the reverse. Last pack magic from the Pikachu box? Ugh, nope, it's just a pincer. Okay, we got to open some more Crown Zenith. I grabbed the Reggie Eleki box right here. Let's open this up. Whoa, okay. That's actually a lot harder to do than I realized. How does Pokefang do that? Do you guys know Pokefang? If you don't, you should definitely go check out his channel and drop a sub. I'd really like to see him get up over a thousand subscribers. We got the Reli Reggie Eleki V and here's the promo or here's the code card for you to get you the promo in the online game and four packs of Crown Zenith. I'm looking for that Mewtwo V-Star and I'm looking for either the Arceus, the Palkia, or the Dialga Gold. But you know what? I'll even be happy if I pull another Giratina. I've already pulled two of them. I've pulled three of the Pikachu and I've pulled two of the Charizards already. So I really, really just wanna see that Mewtwo. We've got Matang, Krikatu, AA Ron, if I can grab it, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, and the Oricorio in the Galarian Gallery. And this is one that I needed for the binder. What's Oricorio hiding? Just the Volcanion Hollow that I also needed for the binder. That's an awesome pack right there for me. Let's drop the Oricorio into a sleeve. Bam. And like I've been saying every time, I just feel like I have such a better chance of completing the Galarian Gallery like on my nearly on my own just from pulling it than I did the uh, baby shinies from Shining Fates. So really, really happy with this set. And I'm excited that they're dropping products for the next few months too. We've got Friends in Hisui, Carnivine, Rescue Carrier, Energy Search, Scyther, Riolu, Young Goose, Cherubi, Zamazenta for the reverse, and the Rotom V for the rare. All right, let's drop the Rotom V into a sleeve. Pretty sure the Rotom V is already in the binder, or maybe it was the V star. I'll have to check. Two more packs of Crown Zenith here. Two more chances at that Mewtwo or a gold. Here we go. Let's get you the code. Let's get four to the front. Let me know in the comments how you guys have been enjoying Crown Zenith. If you're getting all the pulls that you want, we've got Larion, Friends in Sinnoh, Gloom, Ball Toy, Galarian Meowth, Whalmer, Shinx, Larvista. Can we see a Galarian Gallery? There we go. The Altaria, doubling up on the Altaria. What's it hiding? The Hollow Tapu Lele. Okay, at least two Galarian Galleries in a box, even if one of them is a duplicate. I'm happy with that. I've definitely seen some completely empty four pack boxes but it seems like the etbs are really where it's at for the pulls let's get this last one out here get you this last code and four to the front for the last time today guys bam here we go v star marker graveler rare candy we've got luxio larvista ponard whalmer pokeball corpish Oh, hey, there we go. Another Mew from the Galarian Gallery. It's funny, I traded one of the Mews today at the convention and I had a feeling that I would pull it right back. Mew, can we see some last pack magic? Even though I think we just got it with the Mew. A Zamazenta V that I needed for the binder. This was pretty awesome, guys. And like I said, the convention was pretty cool and I'm really excited to see where they go with it in the future. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.